Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses, potentially the final episode. I say potentially because we didn't beat it last time. So, I have a theory. And for this theory, we have to test something. We're going to test Happy not being around and Caspar being around. Why? Well, when I looked up the fight, because I was kind of interested in what the logic behind Edelgard's attacks were, because that's very interesting to know. And the logic basically was that it should always attack Dimitri, at least one out of two times. And that seemed to be the truth at a certain point, however, it didn't always hit Dimitri. Also, I just noticed something weird about Dimitri which I need to fix. I don't think he can actually use the Sword of Zoltan, no. So why does he have the Sword of Zoltan? Very good question. Uh, let's give him the Armor Slayer back. Anyway, um, so yes. Uh, I'm going to try having Happy out, because that way we can at least check what happens, you know. What if Happy is simply not there? I mean, I would like to use Happy, but if she's causing issues, she's causing issues. Uh, that would also mean I'm on the wrong screen again. Uh, I was trying to press a button and go, and it's not working, and I wonder why. Yes, uh, it also means that we probably want the healer on Dimitri, because, well, if he's going to be hurt a lot, that would make sense. We want the no double hits on Felix, and then the second healer. I don't really know who we want the second healer on. I guess the do or Gilbert makes the most sense. Let's go with Gilbert because the do doesn't tend to take damage. <laughs> right. Let's try this. Let's fight. Oh wait, no. Uh, drop in a save. Then let's fight. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we know exactly what's happening over there. So we suspect uh, Edelgard is go like is gonna go and do her thing. Also, if this works, uh, I'm just gonna carry on. But I think that we should try going down the right and left hand sides because apparently if we if we stick somebody here and we stick somebody here. We stop the auto spawns, like we stop the reinforcements, which seems huge to me. If we can stop the reinforcements, killing Edelgard isn't actually that big a deal. Like that was possible. The reinfor constant reinforcement spam was what killed us, and the fact that we couldn't go in here. So we kind of want to kill that one and get the reinforcements, so take it a little slower. But once we can be sure what Edelgard's AoE attack is like, then it'll be better. Because we were actually surviving that for pretty much forever. Uh, let's just work out here. So you're the first one I've selected. Uh, let's get you out and get you standing here. Right. So this was also a very common strategy. Was try well, was using something to kill that guy. Not everybody went for the same strategy we did, but essentially the concept of the strategy was the same. I would like to kill the that side as well. So we'll get that in a minute. I could bait them out. Now, what do you use? So, you, you're both using magic, so, um... Ready when you let's are. stick you here with a spear. And then that should allow us an attack back. My orders. Nope. Uh, here? Here's fine. Okay, it looks like they're That's shooting us next, actually. Oh, no, they're still shooting a net. Oh, okay. I'm your girl. Wait, so that implies that Edelgard shooting a net. Let me just have a look. Edelgard is indeed shooting a net. Now, do I waste a Divine Pulse? No, because it could still miss. <laughs> uh, it's unlikely it'll miss, but it could still miss. So we'll do that. But if it aims for a net, we at least know something. I'll do my best. Which is a positive. At your service. Right. Wait. Yeah. So you hit Mercedes. Interesting. Well, you didn't hit her, but yeah, it's fine. We're in then you went for Ash. Okay, so that seems random. But maybe it's until uh, Dimitri hits the center. Hmm. Interesting. I think I still want to do the... Oh, we didn't manage to kill him. That's annoying. <laughs> well, this is fine on that side. Ingrid's one of the few who can survive a hit anyway, but it was double miss, which is good. Um, okay, so they're running out. That's fine. Hmm. 
So we need to do some heals, but that was fine. Um, we might want to do the defense on Annette anyway, but we'll think about this. So, I don't care about you anymore, or you, or you. I'm more interested in these guys' range. So one of them's definitely going to have a range up to here. But I think he's, his range is larger. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that is his full range. Same with you. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're one off. Yeah, perfect. So we can kill that one. No issues. Um, apparently what's in the chests are garbage. But that's okay. That we can live with it being garbage. Um, Not finished yet. Get down to the edge. You don't have a kill. Okay. Does anybody have a single hit kill on this one? I know I took away his best weapon as well because I wasn't expecting to use him. Hmm. Dimitri? You can probably get a straight kill. Uh. There we go. That'll work. Kill him. Nice. I swear it also, his be. weapon looks very weak, so I'm wondering whether there's something odd going on there. Yeah, Silver Lance looks very weak. Maybe this is the save I loaded was before the repairs. That would be bad. Like that would be extremely bad, but that's okay. Um, yeah, go for the hits. They got a low hit on us anyway, so that's fine. Doesn't matter, even if it does hit us. Right, back off. Come in here, and yeah, that'll probably do it. Well, Your Highness. there's our bad luck. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I, I should have gone for an 100%. It was, it was, um, it was greed that led to that not being the answer. There we are. Threat eliminated. Should avoid greed as much as possible. It always backfires without fail. Well met. Okay. This one up here. My orders. Actually, can What's we kill him? Strategy? Uh, probably not. No. Come Although we go. could come out here and attack with something like that, and then kill him. That wasn't too bad. Head over here. Punch. Um, we'll just use the silver gauntlets. Nice. Another victory. Forty-three. I'll use this power for the greater good. That's not too bad. Right, we're gonna stay here because I'll we have our purpose in life. To wait. Head over. At ra I'm gonna rally a net just because if he has nothing better to do, he might as well rally a net. Um, we will drop in a heal. Thank you. Uh, who else needs heals? Oh, I think yeah, we've got a heal needed here as well. That should be fine. What's the plan? I think he needs a proper heal though. At your service. Um. Yeah, he probably needs a proper heal. Yeah. Thanks so much. That works. Get all the way over here. Provide heal. That's better. Nice. Ash I'd can move honored. over this way for just now. And Caspar Put can also there. move over this way. No issues. So hitting a net. Survive with one HP. That's that's the life. Mercedes. A crit I go now. at four percent. Wait, that no, that's that's just a game over for us anyway. For my rules, that's a game over, right? Because if we get crit, we're just screwed. So we need to reload because we got crit. As in that that is like even rewinding is unlikely to make that work. Let's try rewinding, but I suspect that we need to completely reload, which is just incredibly annoying. Uh, so wait, where was my... Gilbert can't you... Right, so Annette cannot attack first. That's fine. 
The reason Annette cannot attack first is Annette now is to stand still. Not finished yet. Caspar. Hit. That's fine. Same difference there. What's right, run strategy? up, punch. We crit. Okay, so we've changed RNG, which is nice. So it should mean maybe Edelgard's attack changes. But the main bit of changing RNG was doing this, is, is waiting. Then I'm going to rally Mercedes. Yeah, stay where you are. Then I'm going to use a heal here. We need another heal for Ash. Which is alright. We will drop in another heal. Much appreciated. Right, and then we What's will the drop in another heal here. Cool. Much appreciated. Let's see how that goes. Oh, and we'll move you over Put here slightly. There. And then just wait here. I'll cut through. Right, let's see. Edelgard. Tanks Ash, we knew that was gonna happen, 0% crit. And it didn't hit, which is good. Tanks Mercedes. Didn't crit, wonderful, we changed RNG. That's all that matters. Now don't hit. Wonderful, so Mycin's dead. So that'll take out a bunch of these guys anyway. So all of the uh, little guys around the edge are dead right now, or not there, I should say. Not dead, but you get the idea. Now we do eventually want to head right and deal with all of that. Uh, I'm gonna head left first. Uh, so these, so the, minus you, what's the ranges? Ah, okay, perfect. So we can actually quite prepared. easily stick you in here and then wait. Let's have a look, 0%, wonderful. Leave it to me. Stick you at the edge. Ready Stick you, you at the edge. We can still throw over this edge, even if we can't do anything else. Wait there. Yeah, that's our that's our edge for this whole thing. You want to run all the way back over here. Wait. We can't be careless. Um. Drop in a heal. You saved me. I'll only restore her by one, right? Mm. Okay. We can fix this, though. Drop in a heal. Well, who's hitting that? Oh, that's um, Edelgard hitting Ash. That's okay. Ash is great because um, he's not likely to be in the line of fire. And he naturally... Um, I say, I think I just want to wait there. Like, uh, he naturally has 0% crit. It, it, it seems good. Yeah. Uh, get in here and rally. She seems to avoid people who are rallied up in defense, but I could be wrong. Wait there. Hammer? That actually seems pretty good. <laughs> uh, maybe replace one of these with a hammer? I replace the steel axe with a hammer. Sure. So, shoot Sash. Great choice. Oh, and he has the evasion as well. That's the other bit I was thinking about. That one, I hate the 4% chance, but, I mean, he still has evasion on it. 0% crit, man. It's not going to work. Or a 0 damage crit, I should say. Not percent. It obviously has a higher percent, because it worked. Okay. Um... Shoot. That seemed good. Ash leveled up to 44. Get him defense. <laughs> nope. I'm getting closer to my goals. He has one extra HP though. Which is kinda neat. Might help. Right, kill. Wow, really? You have range. <laughs> I'm like now, now I'm like, who has actual range to hit? I mean Annette does. We could also throw a hand axe here. At least we did some damage. Fly back. Oh, we applied something there. 
apply the negative to the fence. Oh, is that because I have that ability on? I have seal the fence on. I completely missed that. That's actually quite useful if we can get him to hit Edelgard without dying. Okay. Ooh, not quite a kill, but that's okay. Gilbert, can you do the same thing the previous uh, person did? Just chuck the axe in. Wonderful. Take a step back. Kill. Nice. Now we got a space open. We can walk past and do a little punching. There's a crit. I must lead them well. Impressive. We don't care about what's in these uh, little uh, boxes, but that's okay. Right. Uh, I would love for these guys to aggro. Can I get them both? To well, no, I want them to aggro on this side. Yeah, yeah. So switch up to the spear. Equip that. Wait. She needs to heal, but we can get heals onto her. That's okay. It's not a huge deal. In fact, it's quite useful if we get um, Ingrid to be hurt, because then uh, Mercedes can heal herself next turn. Um, actually, let's drop in another heal on her. I just realized that um, Annette does not get her extra defense this turn. Unless, actually... Yeah, Dance. Dance, Gilbert. This is the next level place. Dance, Gilbert. Then use Gilbert to rally Annette. Nice. Wait here. Mercedes can move past. Uh, and we can get heal on Ash, which is okay. Pushes them back up to uh, Fool, which is alright. Right. Wait. It's Ash. That's alright. Well, might not hit Ash, but did. Alright, we can heal Ash next turn as well. Annette. Not doesn't hit and wouldn't have killed if it did hit. That's what we're after. Okay, that hit Ingrid. That's okay. We did hit back. The other one didn't aggro, but that's okay. In here. That is a kill. Let's go. Nice. So we received the rusted axe, which we can put away. Um... The situation is I think dying. I'm going to step there and just wait. Then do a heal. Thank you. It's alright. So you're going to have to come around here. What actually is that? Just if we zoom in. Alright, so this is what the inside's meant to look like here. Cool. I like it. Although our side would be over this way. But still, same same difference, pretty much. Looks like that. Okay. Take a step in, or take a couple steps in. Wait. Step down. Alright, got pure water. Don't need it. I need to slow down. Head in here. Oh, you definitely need a heal, actually. That's what you need. Let's uh, drop a heal in on them. Thank you. Okay, Marianne leveled up. Wonderful news. Okay. Head back in. Um, if it does look like we're running low on healing supplies, I suppose I could just take a turn to convoy out healing supplies. Because I'm sure we have some uh, elixirs left over. Yeah, in here. Rally. Now, I could also take um, Dimitri and Felix right now and just clear out this side. But I think I'm going to keep everyone together just to be, you know, secure. Right. Go. You're hitting Felix? Wait, we don't get to hit back? Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Felix. Wait, is he the only one in range? Wait a second, have we found a spot where they're out of range? Oh! Now that is good. Let me just see something here. Edelgard? Yeah, down here is out of range. Oh! That is intriguing. 
I mean, I was told that these were useless, so let's have a look. Talisman. Ah, right, yes, these were all stat ups, that's what it said. Now, now it's coming back to me. Yeah, so that's, that is a little useless right now. What's also interesting is that Felix cannot revenge it here. Even though it's got an infinite range on it. That's fine. Hey, Raphael leveled up. Did it again. Cool. Well done. Oh, wait a second, yeah. Oh, so she, Edelgard's not in range of anything right now? Oh no. Bad news for Edelgard. Uh, what's your range? Is that, you're the next one? Yeah, you're kind of the next one. You are also in range soon, I think. Oh no, you're not. You probably can't get out of that room. That's all right. Okay, so we have a safe area. That's an intriguing thought. Because once we get into the center bit, she stops doing the move. So all we need to do is keep some units here until we get into the center. Hmm. All right. Potentially we have a path through here. Yeah, a moment of peace and a moment to reflect. Okay, that's what I'm after. Head around here. Yeah, okay, so this is making this a lot easier. So what's Edelgard doing each turn? She got, definitely had something happen to her when she did nothing, so she's gotten up to her res. Okay, so her res is going up. When she takes, it's probably when she takes no action. Actually, let me have a look. Take no action, res go up, is that a thing? Doesn't say. Hmm. Don't know why. Maybe it's just gonna continually raise forever. Oh no, she only has res up because she's standing on the thing. I guess it, maybe that's her heal. Activates like a heal for doing nothing. Possibly. Anyway, um. Received elixir. Ah, well there's an elixir. I should heal, um, yeah, I should actually go around here and heal up Ingrid. There's no reason for her not to be healed. Ah! Okay. Um, open up the last one. I also saw people online saying, when I was trying to look up, like, the rules of this, um, thing, I saw one that was, like, it was a thread saying, what's the easiest route? And that people were like, Azure Moon, 100% easiest, no it, no question. And I was thinking about the fight that we'd just done and going, what do you mean this is the easiest route? This is by far the most challenge I've had in the game, you know, at all. And then that was like, where I was going, maybe happy's the issue. <laughs> you know, maybe we have uh, other problems. Ah, can I aggro those guys elsewhere? No. So also, yeah, apparently you need somebody standing here to stop this, or somebody standing either in he in the throne room or here to stop the stairs spawning. I don't know when they start spawning though. I guess I'm gonna do that. Keep our thing equipped. No, equip that. Yeah. Then wait. So you got a zero percent chance. You do. You got like twenty nine. You got like twenty five. So we could die there, but I find it unlikely. So Edelgard goes zero. Boring. Boring, as he as uh, Felix would put it. That was cool. Well, I was lucky. So one's heading around that side, that's okay. Take a step back. What's your movement? Seven. One, two, three, four. So we can attack here with something like this, maybe? We're just trying heavy damage. Take a step back. Um, we cannot attack. Okay. Um, I think we let the RNG gods sort this one out. I mean, logically, we should be hit now, but you know. 
that's fine. So we don't get hit by this, that's simple. Pointless. Okay. They run forward. Cool, we one killed that one. This one has a 25% chance of insta-kill. Didn't hit us. That's what I like to see. So I would like to start running in here. And moving closer. No, that seems like a really bad idea. Wait there. Hmm, I'd love for somebody else to be able to join in here. What about Dimitri? It says that they'll attack Dimitri instead. Seems cool to me. Might as well choose something that has higher avo if he's not going to attack. Back here. So you have your magic equipped. Okay. Ready when you are. Uh. Hit with as much as you can. That was good. So that means we only have to do 40 damage on this one. Let's see. Mm. Link's horses would do it, but I suspect we might need that later. I can attack from further away by using like one of these, but they do the same thing. Hmm. Can you get a 40 hit? Yes. Go for it. More proof of my loyalty. More proof of your loyalty, as you put it, yes. Okay. So, once again, Felix survives. We knew that was going to happen. The next bit's the questionable bit. That's a 0%, which we also knew was going to happen. We do at least get to counter-attack, and that should break one of its things. Yeah, nice. This is the... Oh, dear. Oh, that was hitting Dimitri. I was like, why does that say 72%? I'm <laughs> very, very worried for half a second there. I would love to attack this from an angle where we don't get attacked by everything, but that's not going to happen. Thunderbrand? It's a crit. Well, that's definitely a positive. So that clears out a little space on that side. 0% hit, 29% hit. Okay. Okay, and a 29% will not kill. Okay, Dimitri. In here we go. Is that the only angle he can hit at? Uh, wait, he might be able to hit at the this angle. Yeah, that, that's slightly better. Gambit. We must destroy you now. Okay. We destroyed that left-hand side, and now we've just got to get those two. We got somebody who has a hit, like Line of Lances. You could maybe do it if you were one closer. You've got Lure, haven't you? Hey, Lure will work. Right, Lure. I believe that Ingrid will not die to being hit by uh, Edelgard, which is a huge positive. But yeah, you see, by clearing out that side, just by doing that, we have changed the nature of this fight entirely. Because now we can access the left without needing this, like, with people like to do as well. So without needing to worry about everything. That's fantastic. Uh, how about we just use something like the Killer Bow? Sure, that'll work. 100% crit. Yeah, okay. Got his health bar. Still alive. Nothing we can do to get any closer. I would absolutely love to get over there. I guess we could start moving. Yeah. I mean, the people who can move should move, right? I mean, you're not going to take damage anyway. Let's be realistic. <laughs> uh, we'll start moving over as well. This seems like a Gilbert situation, and we will definitely rally for extra Thank defense. You. 
Okay. Mercedes can head right there. Sylvain can head right there. Go. Let's see how this goes. So assuming that we don't get hit we're, as Felix, we're fine. So now you're hitting Dimitri. So come. And Dimitri is actually the best person to be here. Ingrid actually looks even better now that it's been pointed out. Doesn't hit at all for any damage. Alright. Nice. 29's the bit I'm worried about. We still live even if it hit though. Right. Can I see what's happening with that monster? Oh dear. Didn't expect that, but that's okay. Thunderbrand doing good work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's think about this. I would love you to kill this target, if at all possible. Try it. Nice. It was meant to be. So we level up. Give me more speed. Nope. Okay. Stronger. Faster. Never enough. The extra res is kind of nice, but you know, it's all right. So you're still attacking him for zero. You're attacking Dimitri. Okay. Um, I'm not so worried about her range right now. We kind of know that she's everything that isn't marked. Let's have a look here. Yeah, this is fine. That's a crit for 34. 90, 100. Yeah, okay, that should be enough if it crits. Let's see you this. Yeah, exactly enough. I feel my. Perfect. Last health bar. Um. Use the killer bow curved shot. That's not really going to do as much as I want it to do, unfortunately. That's this exact same shot. All right, Gilbert. Let's just see. We can do quite a lot with this if it crits, but you didn't. Ow. Let's move back. Take a shot in with the killer bow. I think we go... Actually, can we do Hunter's Volley? We can do Hunter's Volley, and that will crit twice. Okay. Well, that might be enough. No, it isn't. But it is enough to get um, Ingrid within range to kill it. Um, yes. Oh, wait, advantage? I understand. I shall not stray. Slightly worrying, but you know, we're alive. I, I feel weak. Right, take a step back. That way, we don't need to use fortify. We can just use heal. Two come. We're being attacked by Edelgard here, but not by that one. Perfect. So this should all be good. We're in position to be able to move over to the right-hand side, which is our first overall goal. I believe that he can now cross over if he wants to. Right. Let's head down here. Head over here. Right. Just getting people into position for what we need to do. Cool. So. Dimitri. Doesn't hit. Good. Gilbert. I mean, 100% does hit, but doesn't matter. Didn't kill him, but that's fine. Meteor, please. Oh, there's the crit. Thunderbrand's insane. Okay, so they're aggroed. That's intriguing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe I want to back off and go into this corner and fight them in the corner. That's an option. It is an option. Um, I think it might be what I go with here. There, we, if we have a safety corner, like why would I not use it for safety? You know. 
Seems kind of foolish. Um, right, run back here. Equip the uh, rapier again. In fact, we could probably equip this one because we are only being attacked by one guy who has like one health. Step back. My orders. Step down here. Right, step down here. Okay, step back. I think this is a much better attempt than last time. I'm so much happier with how things are going. Like, insanely happier. Yeah. This could almost not be going better. All it needed was a slight change of uh, personnel and a slight change of planning. Although I think Happy being here would have been fine as well. I don't think it matters too much. I think if Happy was here we would have been fine with the new strategy of going left. Especially knowing it's a safe zone. That's the main thing. Knowing it's safe is like it changes things so much. Cool. Alright, next. We could even use the arms if we wanted to. I suppose. It wouldn't be my first choice, but we could do it. I don't believe any of them have meteor, as in any of the ones that are still alive. So that's cool. They are mostly magic users, so I might want to chuck um, Felix out to fight them, but I don't believe any of them have meat here. Um, head this way. Actually, head this way. It doesn't matter if you get hit by Edelgard. Uh, step down. You can head round here. Round here. Cool. Seems good to me. Let's see where they move. Zedo Guard's like, why can't I not hit him? Right. And round here. That's fine. We have a physical damage one at the left hand side. We, maybe we can use the do to solve that. Oh, we also have a... Interesting. You know what I might do is I might stick Felix in the corner and see if they'll come and fight him in the corner. Ooh, okay. Oh, we aggroed the entire center. Well, that's not ideal. Yeah, okay, so we can sit still here with the do. That'll at least give us a single hit. In fact, if I do this, he probably doesn't take damage. Thank you. Let's have a look. No, oh, because he already has a defense up from his thing? Guess maybe they don't stack, or maybe they do stack and... Anyway, that's fine. Let's head to the center, equip this one. They can't all hit him. It's it's lying when it says they can. Um, head up here. I think only one can hit him. Maybe two at max. They might all try, but I don't believe that they all can. Uh, can you take a shot? Yeah, dead eye with the training bow. Just, you know, chance, yeah, chance of a crit, basically means that we have a chance of just killing one. Seems good to me. Right, Felix. Doesn't get hit. Good. Uh, block the path. I love it. We get hit for eight, then hit him back. Luck wasn't with you. Cool. I love them all blocking the path for each other so they can't get through. Oh, okay. There's our crit. That one's dead. Who's next? Hey, it's a bow user. Still doesn't hit us. And there's a crit. Alright, next. Raphael leveled up. Again. Okay. Okay. So obviously the magic users are going to absolutely trounce the do if they get access to them. So that's, that's step number one. Stop the magic users getting access to the do. Why can he not run along here? He probably can't just can't get past our team. He's only got movement of four. He can only get there, basically. 
Uh, so we might need to head back there and do something. I could take a step back here and just attack you with like a hunter's volley with the killer bow. I can't lose. Yeah. Oh. I'm still here. That at least does something. I'm glad I can count on you. So that clears a little space. Let's do a dance here. You're too kind. Once again, it puts Felix in the uh, danger zone, but that's okay. That's where he likes to be. Then Hunter's Volley. I've got you. It's my duty. Nice. I could learn from that. So that clears a little bit more space. He movements five, so we should be able to run away. Especially if we run down into that corner. In fact, you know what we should do first? Foul play onto him. And then run. Okay, step back. So you're hitting Gilbert right now. We can run with him as well. So now your only person you can hit is, once again, our unkillable uh, Felix, which is good. You. You're gonna hit us, huh? Head back. Head back. Cool. Think we're ready? So now running in. Hate that, but that's okay. Nice damage. He also uses physical attack, so we could potentially attack somebody uh, with defense next turn. They also don't have enough space to actually get through, which is good. Um, just try it. That works. On to the next battle. Okay. Um, might be a moment to try this. Yeah. This should do it. Your pass, or you don't. You don't need pass. We just need somebody standing here, and then for these guys to be dead. But that doesn't necessarily give us what we're looking for. I give him another shot. Wait, if I go here, yeah, I can then dance uh, Felix up. Not Felix, uh, Ash up. Dance with Felix and give Ash another turn. Perfect. Ash can then head up here and just snipe someone out. Perfect. So that's great. We're just clearing out that side really quickly. These guys can now no longer run past, which gives us a lot of room to think and breathe. Um, I mean, I think I just end the turn there, to be honest with you. Seems fine to me. Dimitri has a chance of being hit, but who cares? He didn't get hit. There's our 0% zero, zero hit. Killed that one. Now, that does mean that one of them can move forward, right? Like, one of the magic users can move into melee range. Yep. Which seems very foolish to me, if I was them. Wait, does that mean the other one's gonna walk into melee range now? Yes, it does. I love it. We have uh, beaten the odds, by the way, in terms of being hit by those. We have definitely had more than four hit us. Or, try and hit us. Uh, curved shot. Go for... Oh, we, we can't do it with Curve. It has to be Deadeye. Okay, and then we can hit the one at the top there. Not a fail not though. Uh, I would love to try that. I suppose we can... Com yeah, we can convoy... We can convoy out ourselves another bow if we have one. That's alright. Let's Deadeye and take a shot. I really didn't want to use fail not, so of course I used fail not. That makes sense. Um, hit. All 
Alright, next. Next. I love it. Um, out here. Just go for wind. Perfect, level up for Annette. I can't um, in here. No, nope, don't have anything we want to do there. I think, think we're mostly happy. I might just move you two steps out so you don't get hit. But apart from that, it's the Felix show. I kind of got the feeling that was going to be a crit, but it was not. He leveled up. Nice. Raphael leveled up. Oh, and that blocked the rest of them. Alright. Because they, they, they attacked in an odd direction. All right, use wind. It had to be done. Right. We now take a step forward because um, nothing's going to hit us where we are now. You have yeah. So they can't they can't walk past us and we can hit them. That's what I was trying to say in about the worst way possible, which is as tradition right now. Uh, curve chop. Actually, a Hunter's Volley. Then use the Killer Bow, as I was planning previously. In the name of yeah, okay. So I need to go get it's him a new turn. bow. Not bad. That's fine, we can run away round as Quartermaster. That's our job, after all. Um, head over here. Actually, yeah, head up here. Chuck some fire over the top. There we go. Nope. Hey, he leveled up his riding. Doesn't matter at all. But he did it. All right, uh, try Nosferatu. Nice. Go and hit him with an axe. Cool. So that should be a kill for um, Felix on the other side. End. Yep. You fought well. So we have now killed every single thing on the left hand side here. Including the ones that were in the throne room. Which seems nutty to me. So now we need to go over to the right hand side and do likewise. Kill everything including the ones that are in the throne room. Then once they are all dead, we can have somebody sitting here to stop this spawn. We can have somebody sitting up here to stop this spawn, and we can have somebody sitting over here to stop this spawn. Once we have someone stopping all the spawns, we walk in, kill, kill Edelgard, Bob's your uncle, we've won the fight. Right? That's the plan anyway. We just need to uh, get there. Right. Run over this way. Start making our way across. I mean, you can just go because... In fact, you should stand in the middle, because then you can help others across with your dance. That makes sense, yeah. Right. Um, can I get you? Yes, I can get you round. Do a little convoy trade here. So we're going to store our critical ring, get out a bow. Do we have a killer bow? We have a killer bow plus that isn't upgraded. Do we have anything else that might be useful for him? We have a steel bow, a silver bow. Silver bow is probably not that useful. Long bow. You see, I probably should have upgraded something. I guess we'll take that. Trade Ash. Uh, we'll take his killer bow back for the silver bow. Then convoy out the killer bow. And grab ourselves. Uh, I mean, I guess the critical ring again, right? Seems good to me. Oh, and then we can even heal him at the end. That's the that's the real use of our character. We can heal everybody else and get them where they need to go. Right, head round here. Everyone queue up. Everyone gets one turn to cross. I mean, some people like to do can just cross by themselves, but you know. Apart from that, we're gonna have to spend like a hundred turns crossing. That's okay. This is fine. We don't actually have that much space on the other side. I should probably think about who I send first. I suppose actually, no, we have space right at the end, don't we? <laughs> Can you make it? 
You can make it in one go. Wonderful. You can get halfway across. Wait. Be dance. That helps. Nice. Run her the rest of the way across. Get you in position to cross next turn. Get you in position. Get you in position. <laughs> this is a very slow way of doing this, but this is all that's alright. We're okay. You don't take damage, so you can also crawl. Be tempted to just cross the meat tree as well, just be like, on you go. You can do it. So. Well, I mean you can't hit either of them, so why would I care? Yeah, I'll just skip it. You, you actually can't hit either of them. It just does not matter. In the slightest. Uh, right. Get down into the bush. You can take a few steps up. Ah, you do need, you still need help getting across. You can get across by yourself though. Okay. So wait here. Be danced. I could have used the gambit of stride to get across as well, but doesn't matter too much. Right, in the corner, wait. Take your slot, wait here. Just take the most direct route across, straight through the center. Um, right down here. I could run the meat tree through as well, and I probably should, because he's fairly okay, but well, we don't have that much space to the other side. Yeah, let's end. If I fail this attempt, I'm going to be extremely unhappy. <laughs> After this point, like, look at where we are. We have killed an entire side and we have eight Divine Pulse Charges. If we fail this attempt, I should honestly just, like, I was going to say uninstall the game, but I forgot, it actually comes on a cartridge. I guess I should destroy the cartridge. But, uh, yes, that's not going to happen, so. Uh, yes, walk over. I just love the way that the dude's like, Wait, why would I need to wait? I, I can just run across. Uh, you will not make it across by running. So we'll get you as far as you can. Wait. Dance. Thanks. Okay. Continue running across. That's fine. Uh, you will not be able to make it across by yourself. But then snow... No one will be able to make it across by themselves. That's fine. <laughs> yep. Join the queue. Everybody in the queue. It's alright. We already know that these don't really hit. I mean, you're going to hit Dimitri, the one. Oh, no, it's Felix. Wait, Dim is Dimitri not in the center? No, I, I decided against that. Ah, okay. This is fine. That's as far as the dude can go for just now. Okay. Get in the corner. I mean, this is another safe corner. I mean, I guess that what I want to do here is tag Edelgard. Yeah, actually. No, th th this is what I want to do. I want to tag Edelgard so I can then be like, okay, so this entire section is safe. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, you can make it across in one go. That is huge news. You can almost make it across. But you maybe could have if you were, uh, like, that square closer. Anyway. Thank you. I see, I think he would have been one off. Anyway, into the corner. Uh, you can go after Dimitri. Just working out the order I want people through. And I guess we're going last, maybe? Well, no, we're not going last. Felix is going last. Okay. That's fine. The dude continues to take zero damage. Felix continues to not be hit. That's fine. Right. Into the corner. Um, into the corner. Might as well take one step up just to move out the range slightly. You definitely need the boost over, so we will dance you across. Thanks for that. 
wonder what the chances are of aggroing just one of these guys. I guess it's possible, in theory, working out where people are. Oh, you're just blocking the thing. Like, that's all you do. But, like, if I select you, yeah, it's def there's definitely squares where we can aggro just one. Which is neat. Wait, are you even going to be able to make it across with the boost? Yeah, just. Okay. That's fine. Okay, go. Yeah, we don't even need to make him wait to absorb the attacks. It's crazy. Right, wait there. Dance. So next turn is our aggro turn, by the way. Because we need space. I think. Can we run across? Let me just check. No, so we definitely need help running across. Um, yeah, next turn is our aggro turn. That's fine. By that, I mean we don't attack, but we, um, we get attacked. That's fine. So to do, you're going to take this spot and wait. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Get in the corner. Just checking, you're not getting absolutely destroyed, are you? No, only slightly destroyed. It's okay. Into the corner. We will run as far as we can this time, which is slightly different than we did previously. Just because that way uh, Felix can run as far as he can. Well done. Right. Crossed over, got some XP, move in. Cool. End. So Felix was the only one shot at because, well, he's the only one in range. Gilbert gets blasted by fire. Okay. No issues. We actually did only aggro one, which is great. Okay. Uh, if you head here, use your gambit. Wait for me. Nice. The time is now. So it started to break him. Actually, you could take a step back as well. Your gambit is also line of lances. Perfect. We'll cover you. Let's do so that should break now. the rest of them. Nice. Umbral steel gained. Get round. Attack with fire. Sure. If it crits, it kills. Didn't crit. Alright. Well, we got space, which is what I was looking for. Up here, this is your chance to use thunder. Or Thoron. Thoron. Let's go with that. Crit. Perfect. It did crit. Ask and you shall receive. Raphael levels up. Trainer. Wonderful. Next health bar. Head back and spear it. This battle is over. Uh, okay. Well, that's a health bar taken out by spear. Dimitri levels up. More strength. More. <laughs> Alright. Up here. Get your punching gloves out. Go to punching town. Although dragon claws are better. No hesitation. Okay, not kill yet, but we're getting there. Uh, hit with this one. Bang crit. No. Okay. But I really only wanted him to do that so that I could get somebody else in range. Uh, let's go with Ash. He actually has more stuff in this combat than um, Annette does. I've got you. Perfect. Yeah. And that is a kill. Steal myself. Level 45. Cool. Nope. Knew you could do it. One down. Edelgard's still in the back going, Ugh, I want to attack people and I cannot. Don't know why she's become French, but that's okay. Um, right, head up here, and here, and. Let's 
Zero damage. Zero damage. Appreciate it. Right. Zero damage is easy to deal with. Gambit. 100% thanks to Annette being nearby. Do whatever it takes. Which is what I really like. Okay. Ready for the next one? It's good. You're going to be 100% surprised. Is where you get Gilbert. You run him up here. You run him one square further down. And you use Line of Lances. Assist them. Our plan is ready. Nice. Umbral Steel. Take a step back to give other people some space. Um, Marianne? Try it. No crit, huh? Okay. Well, back to your corner. Caspar? Try for a crit. Nope. Alright. Hey, nice. Battalion leveled up. I think his battalion is Recovery Roar? No, it's Stride. Oh, that's cool. I have two Stride Battalions this time. That's neat. I mean, that would have helped a lot last time. Not so much this time, but that's okay. Right. Here, um, Dimitri, do you want to chuck in a spear? Oh, a crit again. I mean, other people have the same crit chance. They just don't seem to crit as much as Dimitri does. Not that I'm complaining, really. Uh, oh, wrong one. There we are. Dragon Claws. We didn't crit at all there. Hey, why don't we give ourselves another shot? We're trying really hard. We've got these crit gloves on. It's our opportunity. Dragon Claws. Perfect. First time. I should follow your lead. Nice. End turn. Okay. I'm gonna walk up here. I wanna get the dodge when I'm using my sword, but that's okay. I'm gonna walk up here, equip this, and then end turn. Well, uh, then end his turn, I should say. Head up there. Get uh, up as far as you can go because nobody's attacking you. Let me just check, so that should be 0%. Oh, you're not even hitting. There is some 0%, there is 11%. And even if it hits, it doesn't do that much. Nice. Head along here. Head along here. Okay, we're getting there. A lot of people to move. Right, in this way. Get Ash in here. Uh, we could probably kill with a net now that I'm thinking about it, as in kill that one who's standing in the doorway. That's okay. That's a crit. Not a kill, but a crit. 11%. Apparently boring. Okay. Um, you want to take this one? Nice. I was just stronger. We move back to our square. Attack with wind. Doesn't even see a net, and he's dead. I'm sorry. Do we just send him off on his own again? Could do. Could also send ourselves up into the corner to aggro. Potentially. Potentially could be an option to send ourselves over here. I don't even know how you're in range. Oh, because you've got the. You probably got a tomahawk, right? You do have a tomahawk. Hmm. That would aggro. Is that what we're after? No, not really. I want to aggro on the right hand side. I kind of want to aggro this way. I also don't really want to use my good weapon. 
equip the training sword and wait. Move up and wait. I could have aggroed actually with that one. I probably should have aggroed with that one. That's okay. End. So zero percent on Felix. Pointless. That's okay. Our goal here is to get Felix to the. Um, that one doesn't isn't the right one. Let's get Felix to the uh, archer. Once we kill the archer, our space opens up. Pointless. That's okay. I love just seeing the amount that can hit him and it's going. Yeah, all right then. Okay, I'm interested to see what happens here. I don't really know whether Felix will live or not, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, you're hitting to do for uh, zero. I love it. Yep, cool. You don't hit Felix. Nice. Hate that. Hate that. Where's my That's just absolutely annoying. Okay. Well that changes where I move Felix. Felix, instead of moving there. I'll cut through. Now I'm gonna move down here. Why is he gonna move down here? Well, because that man means that that guy's going to try and tomahawk Felix, which is a much different prepared. situation. We'll wait there. Cool. Because tomahawking means that um, he's going to actually attack, so we can attack back, and it has a 0% hit. That's much better. Okay. Too easy. I'll cut you down! Okay, nice crit. Uh, didn't do much damage, but nice crit. Oh, don't know where you're going, but that's okay. Didn't hit. Nice. Seven, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, so if I move, then we can potentially attack like this. Sorry, uh, like this. Perfect. Let's go with that. Now we can just take a step back. You're gonna come and attack him, that's okay. I don't really wanna switch what we're doing, so we'll leave that where it is. Gilbert. My orders. Time for you to run over here, potentially. Leave Same with you, me. Dimitri. Right. End. Edelgard continues to miss continually. Good. This ends here. Even a double crit wouldn't have killed the dude. It's that kind of nice level of security that you need, isn't it? Even a double crit would have been too little. Nice. Well, we'll kill it eventually at six damage a pop. Oh, they actually hit. Okay. Well, we need some serious healing. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Attack with wind. That one's dead. That was close. Cool. Um, Mercedes in here. Chuck in the fortify. Yeah. Nice. Run. Run for it. You can do it. Right. Um, just gonna equip this one for just now. The zero percent are good. Good. Might as well just wait there. Here. 
Here's interesting. Don't know what to do here. Maybe um, hit with one of these. It's a crit. Good job, Bash. It's my duty. Okay. So, I think it's a good time to end. That's still a well. That's a hit. Sorry. This one's a miss. You're running in. We have good crit chance with the sword. Didn't crit. That's okay. Brimstone breath. Did three damage to the dude and lowered something about him. Okay. What did they even lower? His defense. Oh, might be a good move to move back then. Kill. Still haven't killed him. Not good. I'll keep going. You might run out of weapon durability by the end of this, but that's okay. There's a crit. You haven't earned my pity. Right. Hey, we do more damage to the demonic beast now, not that it matters because it heals. Nice dodge. Okay. Kill it. Thunderbrand, let's go. It's a crit. Next. I'll do it. Alright, so clearing out that one has opened it up so that now now we are only being hit by Edelgard in those ones and these things. Okay. End. 11 untapped units is a very odd way to end turns but, you know, that's where we're at now. Don't hit. Crit. Come on. Nope. Okay. Optimism doesn't quite win out against all. Meteor? I, I don't even need a crit, I just need one. I do need a crit if we're gonna miss both of them. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Kill. Really? Okay. Well, let's see what we get. More speed is good. Stronger, faster, never enough. Hey, more speed is great. Lowers the hit chance. Okay. Uh, I'm a little worried though. He's been very lucky up until this point. I suppose he doesn't isn't that lucky because even if he gets hit, he can still. Um, you know, he can still nullify it, because as long as he doesn't get hit by like one that kills him, we can heal him back next turn. Raphael, that's okay, level 27. Power leveling Raphael in the final fight. Good way to go. Right, so now, we can actually walk all the way back here. We have no obligation to sit in the danger zone. Right, walk back. Uh, wait. Cool. You're coming around to hit him, but that's fine. We'll deal with him in a second. Nice. Yeah, just go sit in the uh, safety avoidance booth. Skip their turn. I'll do my best. Let's take a step back. Oh, um, a rally. Huh, thanks. Take a step back. Equip himself with um. How about that one? Let's go with that one for just now. See how this goes. There's the crit. One to remember. 
Wonderful. Get him. It's the crit. You haven't earned my pity. Nice. So now we only have big demonic beasts and Edelgard. That's huge. Right, so I need to stop these from spawning. Now I don't know whether they would... I know that they will start spawning if you stick someone on the things. However, I know when you enter the throne room that enemies will spawn. Now what I don't know is that whether sticking someone here before they spawn the first time will stop them, but I suspect that it will not. So what I think I need to do is have people like sitting outside these rooms, well, not even outside these rooms. That's going to be the difficult bit, is getting in there to stop them. But that's okay. We we can work it out. We've got plenty of time now, which is something that we're lacking on previous ones. Yeah, we have seven divine pulse charges. Put me in there. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you can be hit. <laughs> that's the problem with a couple of these ones. I'm like, can you actually take a full hit from the enemy? I'm I'm questioning it. I'm questioning it. Okay. Might as well move up closer. Why not? Right. What's the plan? But once I enter the throne room, Edelgard stops attacking, which is nice. As in she stops doing this. At least from what we saw last time. Whether that was a bug due to Happy existing or not, who knows, right? <laughs> but we know that she didn't do it last time. So we're missing... I'm looking at how we're going to hit through all of this health bar. Uh, we could just attack it. And then just attack it. <laughs> I mean, it's not, the, it's not the most shiny looking of ways to do it, but... Yeah, let's just do this. I didn't quite break it. Ah. Alright. Spear. Go. Ow. The situation is dire. Okay, so we broke through that. So now we could just start attacking over the top. So like send in Dimitri and Spirit. Let's see you this. Wonderful. Good start. Um up here. Wind seems like a good one. It might crit. There's the crit. Hmm. Oh, Ash. I actually have an idea. Ash, get in here. Uh, Hunter's Volley. High chance of crits. Didn't quite get it, but that's okay. We're then gonna combat Art, Ash, and move him back. That's okay. I don't believe anyone else can actually get in there to attack it. Not reasonably. Well, you could. You know what? Caspar is probably gonna survive a hit. Go for it. Oh, I forgot I had advantage. Casper survived it. Risk. Right, um... Heal Casper. Might need a bigger heal. Uh, fortify. Ha. Wonderful. Hey, this will at least let us see if Casper can survive a hit. Dimitri still hasn't been hit by Edelgard. Caspar. There's a 0% crit on Caspar, which is definitely um, looking good. Edelgard hasn't tried to hit us yet, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, maybe she just can. Maybe it's not. Maybe we're just not a target for her. Right, in here. Um, yeah, wait. Hear voices from the lower levels. Could it be enemy reinforcements? 
Maybe if we take control of those stairwells now, we can prevent reinforcements. Okay, yeah. Well, that's kind of like what we're doing, isn't it? Um... Equip that one. You can get a little bit in there, so we can bring you in next turn. Mercedes, drop in a Physic. I owe you one. Nice. Head back here. Cool. Wait. Dimitri, dodged. Nice. Caspar. I think that was hit. No, it dodged. Okay. That's fine. Nice dodge again. Dimitri uh, keeping up his 100% unhit nature this time. Now, the problem with using my wave attack here is I am going to run out of things to use on the uh, boss itself, but that's okay. Right, get up here. Use our gambit. Link towards it. I suppose we can just hit Edelgard. That's the other side of it. I'm here to help. Once we're there, we can just use Felix. It's our chance to prevail. I suppose. Because <laughs> we won't be needing Felix for what he was being used for in the previous one. Disappointing. Yeah, because we have time. As the thing that we're that's the huge thing that we didn't have last time is huge amounts of time to deal with these problems. Like just insane amounts of time to deal with everything that's happening. Not a crit. That's unfortunate. Um, this is health bar number one. Okay, we're going to need another turn at this, but that's okay. Training sword. Hey, nice crit. Okay, um, end. Could grab the XP that's there as well, I suppose. <laughs> just looking at it sitting on the ground like, ah, I'm just here. Okay, needs heal, but that's okay. We have physics. Uh, that's a kill if it crits. Here is something to nice. <laughs> I was worried, but that is a kill if it crits, and we have divine pulses, so... I'll use this power for the greater good. I like the extra defense. Okay. And kill. Monster piercer increases our damage. I won't be there we go. You're making me look bad. So we have now killed everything apart from Edelgard. No, I think we do. I think we run Felix into the center and we see what happens. I think because we have time, that seems like great use of our time. Uh, let's drop a heal in here as well. Thanks for helping. Okay. Dimitri. So come. Dodged it. Okay, good. Caspar. Nice dodge. Okay, Caspar. Grab the XP. Level 39 for Caspar. Cool. That's a win for everyone. That's a win for everyone. As he said. You know what we could also do, actually? Is move to do up. I also, again, doesn't seem to be hitting us. Um, but we could move to do up and move to do into here because we know well no because there were magic users that spawned weren't there All right, let's go uh, I actually kind of want to move to do back, but we'll do that if we end up dying I'll just go sit in the stairs <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we must bury them so these guys spawn see that's the bit I was worried about but they're all gonna hit. So these are two sides we can now stop. But they're all gonna hit Felix. Now. 
one dead. I guess what we did, I, ah, I figured out what we need to do. It's actually quite simple. We run Felix to the left. Why do we do that? Well, we block the left hand side. Ah, the set stick to that one hit to do. That's not really okay. And that crit to do, which is even less than okay. <laughs> okay, I figured out what we do. That's alright. So, uh, let's start with Caspar moving. Hella good move. Right. When you are. Everyone else, take a step What's the back. Point? In fact, you're gonna head over here, Sylvain, my good friend. Because I think I know exactly what task I have for you. Sitting in stairwells can be your specialist subject. I'm your girl. Right. I'm moving everybody here back so best. the only target is Felix. I may also change Felix's weapon to one that does more base damage because that I seems useful to me. Right. Run backwards. Strategy. Again, run backwards. Just me. trying to stay out of range here. I'll Felix. In the center. Switch your weapon. To one that has higher crit. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. So they'll spawn in. And I believe on the right, only ones that are melee are going to spawn in after this point, as in only ones that do physical damage. Cool. So if we block up the left first, we can move to do and block up the right, which then works perfectly for us. One to remember. Nice. Raphael. Leveled. This side they're gonna use bolting, which only has a 9% hit. Would insta-kill him, but you know. Only a 9% hit. I mean, if any of these end up killing him, what we would do is we would just move him further to the left at the start. That's horrible that one's alive. Uh, I guess I'm gonna move here. Also, Edelgard, look at this. No space for her attacking. Love it. Right, run up. Now we have space to move. I'm gonna start moving uh, Sylvain over. Put me in there. Move around here. Not that that really matters too much, but that's all right. But yeah, now Edelgard is completely out of the picture. We've got more options as to what we want to be doing. Okay. This is literally the situation where you go, like this is the best situation we could get. Well, sorry, it's not literally. We could have 10 Divine Pulse Charges, but, you know, this is realistically the best situation we could hope for right now. Like, compared to the previous run, like, what? if you had not seen the previous run, you'd be going, what's the problem, right? Like, this is easy. Please hit Felix, thank you. Well, don't hit him, but, you know, try to hit him. It was meant to be. Cool. So now, I can run over here, that forces aggro, switching to this to be, uh, yeah, switching to that one, gives him uh, an insta-kill, I think. Right. Sylvain, you're here for a very specific purpose, you have a singular set of skill, uh, and it is standing still. Right. Um, they do. Straightforward. Um, I think I want. I might take it, send a net over with the dude. Like a net and maybe Ash as well. Just until we got space. The dude is going to be the one who sits on the right hand side. That's just so straightforward a choice. I love that they don't even kill him if they hit him on this side. Perfect. You fought well. Right, so they're running in. So what I can do now is run to do right in here. That forces aggro, which is wonderful. Did I just unequip? I think I did. All right, wait. So you're attacking for zero, you're attacking for zero. We will be attacking back. Right up here. Um, we'll just use our silver bow and curve chop. Try and crit. If we don't crit, at least we do some damage. 
So yeah, I can attack here and then take one step to the side. Yeah, use a wind. That's fine. Wonderful. Um, Felix. I've been told that standing here will block spawn. So let's try it. I'm also going to leave Caspar here. Uh, and we're going to move Sylvain up here. By told, I mean I read it on uh, a forum. So let's see. That one's dead. Weak. Okay. Weak. Great. Would love to block that square, so I'm going to. Hit him. Nice. This is it. Crit for zero. Love it every time. Uh, here. Dead eye. Hit him. Just crit. Oh well, at least it hit. Um, I could run in here. Can I hit? I see it. I can attack. Yeah. That would be a kill. Do it. The reason I want this kill so badly is this means that any that are spawning in the future are stuck in that room. Right? They cannot pass into this room. Which gives us space. Right. Sylvain. Your job is going to be to sit in the doorway. Right, I think I'm okay to move people into the center now. So, that grotesque creature was Edelgard. If she ah, died, yes, I, I forgot. <laughs> he has dialogue. That's okay. We're not too worried about it, as we heard it last episode. Right. Head up here. Up here. Up here. Now, I don't... I think Marianne is probably going to be the one who's going to sit on the right-hand side. She makes by far the most sense, as she has no purpose in the uh, middle. Apart from maybe some weird jump out strategy. Yeah, okay. Although, also there's an argument for it being a net, given a net will die instantly if, if attacked, but, you know. She is useful for her strength but, and boost, I suppose. I can't afford to lose. Reassuring. Right, so we can now take two steps in, because that's effectively the same as where we were standing. Weak. Nice. Can you get round there? No. Oh, you can. Dead eye. Try it. Another hit. Fantastic news. Right, get to the stairs. We'll run up. Does look like the left-hand side has indeed stopped spawning. Which is wonderful. We'll swap over next turn and make that the correct people. Right, up here. That does imply that the right side will stop spawning as well. Right, end. As in, it'll stop spawning once we block it. Would have loved for that to have been a hit. Because that way we would have guaranteed us uh, clearing this side this turn. Although, actually, to do only has uh, four movements, so you still would have needed another turn. Anyway. I don't, basically, what I'm saying is I don't believe to do. Yeah, he can't reach the square he needs to. He can block him in, though. Um, got up here. Yep, Hunter's Volley. It's a crit. I won't of course. You're so on top of it. In here, wind. Oh, Annette does also have Crusher, which we've never used. I just realized she does have that. I don't believe we've actually used it once. Um, so maybe I do want to bring her in the center just for the pure chance of using Crusher. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Marianne has literally zero attack moves. The only thing that she 
provides is the ability to swap with another person in terms of their position on the map. Which is cool, don't get me wrong. It's a cool ability. But, it's not actually helpful right now. I mean, she does have Soul Blade, but Soul Blade is not going to kill Edelgard, and therefore is useless, right? We have very strict standards right now. Will it actually kill Edelgard completely? If no, then bad. <laughs> right? It's very, very strict standards. Hit, hit him, kill him. Nope. Okay. Back off. In here. Kill. I mean, Ash might actually be able to kill Edelgard in one hit, as in one of her health bars. It's unlikely, but he might. It's actually a possibility for him. Anyway. I think Dudu is a good one to bring up, because Dudu will probably be able to break a health bar. Also, no spawn there. Fantastic. If I take one step, I can probably foul play. Yeah. Perfect. So that means that we can move the do in quickly as well. But yeah, I think because Monster Breaker should break the yellow in one hit, and he should be able to survive the hit, as in the counter hit, so that's a positive. Okay. If not, then we can probably give another turn with Felix? Hmm. Right. I do love that it's just sitting there and is not, like, you know, it's doing nothing right now. Okay. Move up. Move up. I'm thinking that the first person we should have up there is Felix, because he probably won't be hit. Felix or to do. Either of them will not take any issues. Like, there'll be no issues. Rusted sword. Chuck that back. You know what? Let's go for Dudu first, because Dudu, once up there, can sit there, and then Felix can probably stride people up. Yeah. Wait, let's see. It's taking three, da three damage times by two. No issue. Even if it crits, we're not really worried. Uh, switch to short axe. Wait. Still three damage times by two. That's fine. Oh, I should have moved people closer, but not overly worried. So we've done some damage, so we could just do that continually forever. <laughs> Although the wrath would probably cause us issues eventually. Right. Um. Move up here. Actually, this one's probably going to be the best one at some point. Yep. Take another step. Switch item to Silver Axe. Wait. At least then we get XP as well. So level 40 to do. Perfect. Extra defense. That's what you're after. It only takes 4 damage now. I love it. Right. So you're going to be able to fly over the side. You would also be able to fly over the side if we wanted to use you. You're actually going to be unable to reach the stairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap you with Caspar. Because that way... Yeah, I think that's, I think that's better. I also know that we're slowly hurting there. Oh, yes. He has two moves. I forgot. Too easy. Well, that'll break it. Has it broken it? Yeah, it's gonna do something else next turn. It's twin crest power. Okay. Sure. Um Yeah, we'll swap you out next turn. <laughs> well you're just here to heal. We're here for dialogue. Ash is here to try and kill a health bar. I mean, we can probably walk forward and take this health bar off of her. 
0% hit. Well, that seems good. Oh, I forgot to check whether uh, Monster Breaker would have done it. Doesn't have a great hit rate anyway, so. Uh, training Axe. Smash. When he does one back anyway. We're not overly worried about it. Right, we'll end there. Bolted Flower. Looks really cool. Does 27 damage. Okay, and he then heals, naturally. No, actually, I'm going to move this turn. If they spawn, they spawn. But I haven't seen any spawn from there at all, so it's okay. Let's try this again. Jeez. Nice. I didn't try Monster Breaker. Should have tried Monster Breaker. All right, Training Axe. Smash. Another miss. Didn't matter. Missed anyway. Oh, wow. We took a ton of damage. Um, heal. My thanks. That does not look good. What happened to him? Oh, well, he just... Yeah, he just got blasted, basically. Okay. I mean, he could be crit, but it's unlikely. Oh, he's fine again. Yeah, okay. Just hit once. One of these retaliation moves needs to hit. Right. Monster Breaker, try it. Nice. It's hit twice, but that doesn't matter. So it should have. No, it didn't break. Alright, hit him again. We have now broken the first health bar, or the first bit of the health bar. So now we can walk up, Killer Lance, Monster Piercer, or even better, because it doesn't have that many health bars, Atrocity. To be changed beyond all recognition, that is what lies at the end of the ideals you serve so diligently. I have no pity for one such as you. If that is the future you hoped for, then you deserve no compassion. Well, he got hit. Now we just need one more to get the health bar. Shoot it. That was incredibly jammy as a move. Right. Uh, let's draw back. <laughs> cool. Chuck in a heal. Thanks. I think Dimitri is the one needing it right now. We can always run Dimitri back out next turn. Casper is running up. Right. We found a spot for... Uh, him to sit. Okay, well. That's really annoying, actually. Just look at where that hit. Yeah, okay, so we should, when he, when he do that, we should try and only have one on each side. Nice adjutant heal. We should try and only have one on each side, because then it only hits one of them, instead of hitting both of them. Just look at the angle that hit at. Right. Uh, oh, you can't run out. I see. I big restore. Yeah, restore works. Run out. Don't let your guard down. That's okay. Wait. So you're taking even less damage. Okay. This is fine. I think I'll ch chuck in a recover here. Quite helpful. Quite helpful. Yes, quite. Um, 
So the problem is now it has Vantage. Which is a huge issue. <laughs> uh, I mean, before it even gets things like Desperation and Wrath. Hmm. Oh well, I mean, I guess we continue, right? It's not a ton that we can do about it. I mean, it's crits don't do much as long as it's hitting to do. We should try and use some more gambits, but we don't really have any more gambits. That's the issue. I mean, we have one on um, a net, which we can use. We will be able to use with the speed boost, right? And we have one on Ingrid that we can do likewise. Yeah. We'll be able to gambit and we need I think one gambit will take out the thing. Alright, chuck in a heal. We'll try gambit next turn. Thank you. Okay. I am prepared. Wait. Uh okay. Wait. Good, go. Wilson we'll Flower. That's perfectly fine. Is it a dragon, by the way? Well, she is not a dragon, okay. So I was wondering, how, how much do we do to her? Well, it's with the uh, shield on, but yeah, okay. Uh, we can hit, though. Uh, let's head up here. Use the Stride Gambit, and try and get another health bar. So we still have time. Hey, the Gambit leveled up! Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. What's your movement? Your movement's now 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. Gambit. It's a 50%, but if it hits, it's good. Alrighty then. <laughs> What's yours? T 13. That's good, because you're one square further away. Gambit. Hit. This probably will not move it off the square, I would imagine. But... Take a step out. Did not move it off the square, but that's perfectly fine. That, if it crits, would kill it, right? No. But, if I use Thunderbrand, if that crits... But it's got such a low hit rate, that's the problem with Thunderbrand, is the hit rate is so pathetically low. This one has a really high crit rate. What I don't want to do is leave it low, because then it vantages. You know what I should do? Attack with him second. <laughs> I realize that now when I'm looking at it. The reason I should attack with him second is because um, if I miss the kill, then I still get it. If you know what I mean. Like, if I miss the kill with this, then we're still fine. Yeah. But if I crit, we're perfect. Okay. Oh. Oh. She has an S in faith, huh? Right. So now we have desperation. Wait, you can't hit her. She's out of your range. She's out of your range, Edelgard. Uh, it can't be done. Okay, um... Try it. That was good. Don't let your guard down. I kind of want zero percent chance of critting on whatever I do. Yeah, good. I probably should have just waited. Ooh, righty then. Don't let your guard down. Probably should have just waited, as I was saying. <laughs> My thanks. All right.
Oh, she just she just healed it all back up again anyway. That's perfect. Yeah, please crit him. I, re I would really appreciate him being crit. No? Okay. Nice adjutant heal. Don't be careless. Get out of there. Right, does anybody still have a uh, gambit which can be used from range? <laughs> Somebody has a gambit that can be used from range, but it's pretty much a last ditch effort there. I'm your girl. Um, right, let's use recover. Thanks for that. What's Might as well time? heal up a little bit more. Okay, because we know what he's going to do this turn, so we might as well I just uh, wait. Okay. Well, to the flower. Oh no, that would try and hit Felix as well. Alright, I got that wrong previously. Alright. I just need you to hit, really. Well, I think what we should do is just try and hit and then heal if it doesn't work out. Although we're running out of heals, so. Useful. Hmm. I mean, you have. Oh, you don't have a wave attack anymore. You don't have linked horses either, even if I wanted to. Um. I mean, I could move the do out a square, but that doesn't really help. As in, that would let someone else get in there. You have assault troops, which we could use on the last possible turn. I suppose that's an option. Ready when you are. Yeah. Okay. End. Well. Pointless. Just hit her. Come on. I just need a hit, please. Just one. Alright. Go for it. That's all I needed. That will not break it, even though it hit twice, unfortunately. Go for it. Training axe. I love it. It did actually hit. Right. So now, we can go and take out that last health me. bar. That, that's not quite a high enough crit, but uh, it's not 100% hit, which I think that we should take. There we go. That's basically what we're looking for. <laughs> Final health bar. Okay. 190 health. Okay, okay. I think stride's what we're going to have to do next time. Uh, I am going to use my l one of my last physics, because I do also have a fortify as well. I have two fortifies, which will reach from where she's standing. Okay. End. I knew this was going to hit, but that's okay. We will survive it. Hmm. We, we will survive it. Not even close. Hey, thanks for the adjective, Neil. Oh, uh, restore. That's an easy one. Right, Restore lets us get Dimitri out. Okay. Recover. Quite helpful. Alright, wait there. Put me in there. For next turn. I'm gonna move him one square. And wait. Wait. Go. The reason why I wanted to move him there is because that means we have a side square open for Ash to use the uh, gambit. That hit, that's kind of good, but not as huge as it could be. Okay. Uh, also, let me just check some of our Caspar. 
Oh, immediately, like, not even a, not even a chance dead. Okay, cool. Because Gaspar has the lower defense ability, so... Felt that was worth investigating. At least from a conceptual level. I'd be honored. Right, in here. 55, go. This may be our best option. Alright. Chuck a short axe out. I may rewind. As we now have no way of breaking it on this turn. Well, I mean, we don't have no way of breaking it. Try. Too slow. You're too slow. Fantastic. Right, I'm gonna need some serious damage here. Go. Or at least a single hit. That'll do. I don't believe that Dimitri can kill from that range. But I mean... He would kill with this one. <laughs> Let's try it. Saw it coming too slow. <laughs> Somebody's dead in that pile. That's all I'm gonna say. Tag yourself, uh, you know, which one are you, which, which dead one are you? Wait, we can try this, that's a 50-50. Facing you, I grow weak. Come on, just crit. Nope. All right. It was a 50-50, which I felt was much better odds than we deserved at that point. All right, I have a new strategy. It actually goes back to Dedu's move there. Hear me out. I am prepared. I'm gonna leave Dedu here. No, sorry, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move Dedu here. And wait. Right. Go. This might work. There is logic to my stupidity here, right? For thinking this might work. Hey, hit him. Not that it matters, but you know, it's cool to hit him. I mean, it is ten damage. Ten damage is ten damage. Right. Put me in there. Gambit. You'll see the logic to my stupidity. So now, oh, stay where you are. <laughs> You're not going in there. I'd be honored. Now we're gonna send Ash in the back and Gambit, but instead of 55, he now has a 75% chance, thanks to having Dudu also Victory standing next to the boss. It was still a miss, by the way. <laughs> Increase odds, still miss. All right. I mean, we've, we've done this. That's okay. Uh, What's my strategy? Our curiosity. We attacked with Nosferatu. We're still pretty much screwed. All right, good to know. How about you, Annette? Pretty much dead? That's not bad, actually, a 56. Try it. Don't think so. That's huge. That is amazingly huge. That that missing. I'll cut through. Right. Thunderbrand. Let. Actually, if I get hit here with Ingrid. That'd be even better. Because then I can hit with Thunderbrand to finish him off. <laughs> Perfect. Not quite. I didn't even hit. Even better, we can back out again. Alright. Leave it to Dimitri. Me. I'm gonna need a crit from you here, bud. 
So we can either do 48 and hope for a crit, or I can try this and do atrocity and just do 67 base. So if I do 67 base, how much does Felix do? With the Thunderbrand. Well, it depends how many times he hits. He can do 80, but it depends how many times he hits. All right, Dimitri. Wait a second, let me just check something else. Um, no, I don't have the one that makes the people next to me better. Okay, it was worth the check. This, it, it, it feels so much like this could be the right move. Is just trying for the crit. Didn't get the crit, that means that objectively that was the wrong move, right? But, actually, we're still good right now. <laughs> Wait, is it above half HP? It is. This might end up being bad, but let's try it. It's now not above half HP, so it will crit. How many Divine Pulses we got? We got four. Okay, I think I know what I want to do with them, but let's see. There's like, immediately like, I need one. Is this a crit? Everyone lives? Hi. Nope. <laughs> Everyone does not live. <laughs> okay. Could go back to old strat. I mean, old strat kind of worked. Which is just try and hit him. And then if you hit him, go for a crit. I mean, it's a terrible strat. But it, it's consistent. Like, it consistently works. That's the thing. Is it terrible if it just works? Not really. Then, then it's good. Go for it. You didn't hit. Oh well. You take two damage. And then there's no point even trying on his turn. Yeah, not not any uh, point in wasting it. Alright, you took 27 damage. That's okay. Don't let your guard down. Uh heal first. Yeah. Heal second. Yeah. <laughs> On second thoughts, he'll say. Um, what have we got? Training axe? Oh, that's going to break, though. We don't want to use something that's going to break. Silver axe? Try it. Alright, well. At your service. Heal him. Useful. I mean, I suppose I could use Stride and run Annette into heal in one turn, so... Not completely down. I just realized I could have... Instead of doing... Mm, I, I realized I missed something on a previous one. I could have just given Dimitri another turn on one of his turns. And that would have worked a lot better. As in used Felix's give him another turn button. Go for it. Just hit a single one of those to do, please. Um, okay. But I think we definitely want to start one where to do hits. Yeah, use Fortify. We are running out of turns, but that's okay. Player face. Get some healing. All right, to do, hit. It's a glorious day. To do is hit. Okay. Now we know to do is hit. Put me in there. We're gonna gambit. Wait where you are. Ready when Ingrid, you are. it's your chance. Try it. Huge. Ingrid, I love that you can consistently hit the enemy. 
The situation is dire. Yes, back out. Okay, so now, so here's what I should have done the first time. Right, try uh, her slam. That's fine. Absolutely fine. We then dance here. It gives Dimitri Thanks for more stats, and on top of that, makes him just generally uh, like gives him more stats. And uh, it gives him another turn. That's what I was going for. Right, then we rally as well. Thanks. Rallying gives him more more strength. Okay. What's our um, what does this do? We do for atrocity. See, that's just not gonna do. That will not kill. We need it to kill. Uh. Do we have anything else we can do? Anyone else have a move? Like, can you attack and survive? Uh, you could survive one hit. Resonant Lightning? I mean, why not, right? At this point, why not chuck in an extra attack just because you can? We also want it to be just below, we want it to be just above, sorry, half HP. I'd be honored. Oh, I don't suppose you can live if you attack it. No, but Hunter's Volley might kill it. Actually, legitimately, that would... Wait, would that kill it in one hit? No. Wouldn't kill it in one hit, and that's the issue. We need to one hit kill it from this health. It's designed for Dimitri. On, my honor. On his honor, we have done it. Level 46, that was a uh, two hours and let's say six minute fight. But we did it. Edelgard, it is over. Stage complete. Whew. I'll take it. MVP is Felix, of course he's MVP. Uh, also 75 turn fight. Oh, proper cutscene. Interesting that it faded away. Oh, wow. <clears throat> well, that made me like Edelgard a lot less. Even when she knew she'd <laughs> lost, she still went for the final hit. Like, the, the one last... Or was that just purely to make Dimitri d finish the job? But to me, it seemed a bit petty, but maybe it was just to, she knew Dimitri wouldn't do it otherwise. <sighs> wow. Okay. We'll take a save. I think this is our end of thing save, so I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it here because I'm not 100% sure it's our end of thing save, but. Yeah, it wasn't our end. Okay, that's fine. 
A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlan. The long reign of the Adrestian Empire finally met its end when the imperial capital, the city of Enbar, collapsed. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. With Fodlan united as the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Archbishop Rhea, still weak from her imprisonment, stepped down from Oh yeah, the she was there. The Church of Saros began to take the needed steps to reorganize. Prince Dimitri formally ascended the throne, beginning his reign as the king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, which now included former alliance and imperial territories. Texts from the time claimed that the one who guided the king as he sought to create a world free from oppression became the new Archbishop of the Church of Saros. Who's that tall giant in the background? He's intriguing. All right, so... We're now going on to the epilogues, or... Oh yes, this epilogue. Come now, my friend. You must stop staying up so late. Tomorrow is yet another early morning. I feel called out, given the time I'm recording the video. Then again, I know that matters little. You cannot sleep, can you? <laughs> Neither can I, of course. I... I want you to know I am sorry for making you do so much when your battle wounds aren't even completely healed yet. Wait, were we even hit in the final battle? I don't believe we were. Anyway... And what of yours? Do not worry about me. My shoulder has healed nicely. I still have some numbness in my hand, but it should not hinder me too much. It is a lovely night, is it not? How many years has it been since I was kept awake by hopes for the future, rather than by nightmares of the past? Nightmares? I have had the same nightmare for nine long years. A nightmare in which I am constantly tormented by those who have died. They ask me why I have not avenged them. Why I got to live, yet they had to die. No matter how many corpses I piled up for them, in the end, their voices only grew louder. Voices loathing me, calling out to me. Their inescapable death cries ringing in my ears, clinging to my soul. Even now, I can always hear them. I am certain I will be hearing them until the day I die. But I will not cover my ears. I will go on living, and their voices will serve as a warning. As a king, and as a wretch who claimed countless lives, I will build a kingdom where the people can live in peace. I am sure she would laugh and call such talk foolish. But I wish to change this world in my own way. I mean, for a romantic uh, evening, Dimitri, you've talked about how you're insanely hearing dead voices, you're embracing them, and you've talked about your ex. To be honest, I'm not feeling wooed. Well, Your Grace, things will be busy from now on. Our first order of business is tomorrow's coronation. Once a professor and student, now an archbishop and a king. How very far we have come. Only our titles have changed. That is true. To me, you will always be the one who guided me so kindly. My ally through all. My beloved... Yes. My beloved. Dimitri. Listen. There is something I wish to give you before the coronation. Give me your hand. Dot, dot, dot. Please, I beg of you, say something. If you do not wish to accept it, please, just tell me. If so, I will face the truth and walk away. That's not it at all. But we already had our own ring. What is this? You beat me to it. 
He looks shocked. Come in complete terror. Yes, I see. Right. In that case, let us exchange them, shall we? Your hands. Now that I hold them within my own, I see how small and fragile they are. Dimitri, you, you're making it weird. Talking about how there's death all around you. Your ex now like, you have small and fragile hands. You sound like a serial killer, actually, from the first and the third one. These hands that have saved me countless times. Thank you, my beloved. Your kind, warm hands. May they cling to my own forevermore. All right, Dimitri. We should have known what we were getting into. Right. So, we're now ready for rapid fire epilogues. I believe so. Oh, battle data first. Okay, so we start up with an MVP for Dimitri, followed by an MVP for Dimitri. Felix gets his first MVP quite early on on uh, number three, followed by an MVP for Dimitri. Three for Dimitri, four for Dimitri. Coming up, Dimitri's got four. Five for Dimitri. Okay, we have five for six for Dimitri. Okay, six. Oh, 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 we have a, we have a Sylvain coming in. And, oh, and a Lapsa. Happy. Oh, ho. we have a bunch of ones. That's two for Lapsa. It's Dimitri, Lapsa, Happy, Sylvain, Felix. In that order. We have an Ash. All right, we have another Sylvain. Seven for Sylvain. Oh, Ingrid got one. That's not bad. We have one with a net. We've had some generally spread out ones, apart from the number of Dimitri. Ah, here's Felix's second. Okay. We have two for Ingrid as well. Three for Felix. All right, he's catching up. With eight for Dimitri. Uh, we have nine for Dimitri. We have four for Felix. Okay. Dudu has one. He is on the board. Two for Sylvain as well. Okay. Two for Annette as well. Fantastic. Nine for Dimitri. Uh, three for Ash. Three for Annette. Okay. Oh, that is five for Felix, I believe. Uh, that's first time, time, post time skip and number 10 for Dimitri. Number four for Ash. Five for Ash. Six for Felix. Okay. Seven for Felix. He only, he's catching up. Eight for Felix. Uh, six for Ash. Maybe seven. Um, we're at nine for Felix. Ten for Felix. He has equaled Dimitri's record. Dimitri goes up to 11 in saving Deirdre. Ash goes up to either seven or eight, depending on the previous one. Either up to eight or nine. And Clash of the Imperial Capital, Felix equals Dimitri, I believe, with that one. So that is Dimitri and Felix tied for first, with Ash coming in third. Cool. And then I think Annette was fourth? Alright, battle data. So Dimitri and Felix were our, and Ash were our main people in that one. Alright, rapid fire epilogues. Constance. For her service in the war and her innovations in magic, Constance Nouvelle was, uh, von Nouvelle was one of the first to receive peerage in a new Fodland. For generations thereafter, her noble house was valued as a leader in magical research and development. Cool. She didn't get high enough support of anybody that she got a linked one. Yuri. After Fodlin healed from the war, Yuri's organization spent the next few decades cultivating and controlling illicit markets. Not coincidentally, wherever Yuri's underground business thrived, so too did orphanages and almshouses, uh, almshouses. for the awe and, respe uh, and respect his generosity earned him among the downtrodden, Yuri became known as the Underground Lord. Anna Anna's business savvy proved to be a great asset in the post-war reconstruction of Garag Mok. Once the restoration was complete, she disappeared from the area entirely, though tales of mysterious merchant were passed down in every corner of the world for centuries to come. Some say she continues her travels even to this day, eternally peddling her wares and ever in search of the next lucrative opportunity. Neat. 
Hello, Cyril. Unable to serve Rhea any longer, Cyril nearly left the church. He was persuaded to stay, however, to assist in rebuilding the monastery he had helped maintain. Thanks to his devoted work ethic, the officer's academy was able to reopen a few years later. When the new students took to the reception hall, Cyril found himself among them. Oh. Neat. Again, we haven't got had any linked ones yet. Aloise. Once all the fighting had come to an end, Aloise officially took up the position of captain of the Knights of Seros. In this capacity, he was much beloved, and the Knights became more unified than ever under his command. It is said that their accomplishments during his tenure were beyond even what Geralt's troop had achieved. Good job, Aloise. Everyone seems to have a good one so far. Manuela won battle. Manuela left Garen Mock to build her own academy in a small war-torn town. There she contributed heavily to rebuilding efforts while teaching future generations the necessary skills of survival. Though she never married or had children of her own, she spent the last years of her life happily devoted to her students. That means that Hanneman has one with someone else. Or actually no, we maybe didn't get their support high enough in this one. Anyway, Flane. Flane disappeared soon after the war, and over time it was all but forgotten that she ever existed. Many years later, a young woman resurfaced and completely transformed Fodlin. Uh, when she looked to the man who stood beside her, she wondered if it would be alright in this new era to call him father. Oh, okay, so she's still with Seta. Neat. Raphael! Raphael returned to his hometown to serve his liege lord as knight. After years of loyal service, he resigned his duty to devote his attention to the inn that his grandfather and sister had opened during his time away. Eventually, he became the inn's proprietor and developed a reputation for astonishingly good cooking. Well... He likes to eat it, so therefore, he knows uh, what was good. Three battles, one victory. He had three battles? Anyway, though Fodland had changed, Hanneman's goal remained unwavering, to determine the workings of Crest and to do away with inequality caused by them. To that end, his research resulted in magical tools that could be used even without the aid of Crest. This proved to be yet another worthwhile discovery by the father of Christology. Cool, Hanneman. Shamir! Eight battles. Eight bath? Really? Anyway. Shortly after the war, Shamir gave up mercenary life and disappeared. Though she was never heard from again, rumours swirled persistently for years of a marked master archer who turned thief who lined her pockets by shaking down all those who preyed upon the innocent. See, now that I think about it, there was a period of time where I did use Shamir for a little bit. Cool. Balthus, 12 vac battles, 6 victories? No. Oh yes, he did that. He adjutanted. Ah, those count. Balthus disappeared shortly after the war, but rumours of his exploits swirled for a long time after. Some say he returned to Kupala, where he became protector of the mountain folk. Others say he remained right under Garrett Mock's nose as a prominent underworld figure. Whatever the truth, the tale of his domination in the first ever All Fodland tournament brawl is likely too persistent to be a fabrication. Catherine, 22 battles, 11 victories. When Rhea resigned her position of Archbishop and left the Church of Seros, Catherine followed. She devoted herself wholly to Rhea's protection and the two lived a life of quiet seclusion. Though Thunderbrand remained always by her side, she became known by a different name, the Guardian of Xanado. That's neat, so she got the ending with Rhea, which is really cool. 122 battles, 73 victories for Caspar. After the war, Caspar set out alone on a journey of self-discovery. He travelled to every corner of Fodland and even ventured na abroad now and again. It said he got into mischief at every turn, but the victims of his antics, uh, always more amused than harmed or offended, remembered him fondly and passed those stories on to future generations. Caspar was worthwhile having in a party. Mary Ann! Slightly more battles. Marianne returned home to a hero's welcome. The people praised her talent and acknowledged her as savior of Fodlin. Her adoptive father groomed her as his successor, teaching her the power of words over weapons. By the time she claimed her inheritance, she had transformed into one of Fodlin's most skilled orators. That's a really nice end for, Mar uh, for Marianne. Gilbert! Gilbert returned to Ferdiad and resumed his duty as a knight, faithfully serving King Dimitri for many years. When he finally retired, it said he spent the rest of his days coaching the young prince in the art of combat. And presumably, because he returned to Ferdiad, he returned to his wife and daughter. Happy! Fantastic. Love having her around. Where exactly happy went after the war is unknown. Some say she returned to her hometown to live a quiet life, while others speculate she assumed a new identity in the underworld beneath Garrett Mock. There was one incident in... That is a matter of historical record, however. Some years later, when those who slid them in the dark emerged to threaten Frodo once again, they were defeated by a mysterious woman leading a horde of beasts. Here's our first match. Ingrid and Sete. Ingrid decided to rule House Galatea, choosing instead to serve House Blathed as a knight, declined to rule House Galatea. As Fargus uh, worked with the Church of Seros to achieve 
uh, to advance policy. Ingrid served as an envoy between the two in this capacity. She met routinely with Sereth, whose complete trust in Ingrid resulted in fruitful negotiations. Together, Fargus and the Church coordinated extensive relief efforts to return prosperity to Votland after they had accomplished what they set out to do. It said that Ingrid and Seth had settled down together in a small village where they spent their days in peace, farming and fishing. That was a long one. Mercedes and Annette got a match. After the war, Annette and Mercedes lived separate lives. The former as a teacher of the School of Sorcery in Ferdiad, the latter as a cleric at Garrick Mock. Though they lived apart, they exchanged letters so frequently and shared their lives with one another in such detail, it was as though they were side by side. After many decades, they resigned their respective positions and reunited at Garrick Mock. In the final years, they relocated to a modest house in the Forest City It said that they were happy together to the very end. Oh, I didn't expect those two to end up together, but that is really neat. Felix and Sylvain ended up together. A ton of battles for Felix. After the war, Felix and Sylvain inherited the re respective titles of Duke Fraldarius and Margrave Gauthier and set out to work restoring the kingdom. Each, bed a each led a busy life, but that only seemed to enhance the friendship over the years. Each became known for making surprise visits to the estate of the other in order to deliver the latest taunting in a friendly but relentless game of one-upmanship. It's said that in their later years they became so close they passed away on the same day, as if conceding that one could not live without the other. We've had no romances yet. The Dew and Ash. Well, I mean, no, no, none specifically written. Though the innocence of the Dusker people was proven, prejudice against them still lingered in the Kingdom capital. For this reason, Ash refused the knighthood when it was offered to him and chose instead to open an inn that specialised in Dusker cuisine. The Dew began to frequent the place on his breaks from his duty as the King's vassal and over time imparted to Ash's culinary wisdom. As the inn gained popularity, uh, the people of Kingdom began to finally see Dusker people in a positive light. This led to a reconciliation between the two cultures that came rather more quickly than expected. Lapsa and Dimitri Paired with the, uh, with the end of the war, the joyous marriage of Lapsa, the newly appointed Archbishop, and Dimitri, the newly crowned King of Fargus, gave the people of Fodland much to celebrate. The two were devoted to improving life for the people and to seeking a greater wisdom in order to reform the government and church from the inside out. As leaders of the church and state respectively, at times they uh, engaged in heated debate. Even still, when enjoying a long horse ride or a quiet evening, they were not as the world saw them, but rather two adoring spouses desperately in love. They remained as such for the rest of their days. Okay, I did say that we didn't have any romances. Forgot about Ingrid and Seteth, which were specific, and I believe that Mercedes and Annette was um, at the very least hinted at. But I'm trying to think of us, there are any others? No, I don't think there were any others that were as specific, but I could be wrong. And that, my friends, is the third playthrough. Well, fourth if you count the DLC. We're doing a fifth. You know that's going to happen. Because we have one route left in the game. One solitary route. Now, my plan for that route is very simple. There is a group that we have not yet explored in the game. And that is going to be the group I'm going to go with. So it's the church route. So I'm wanting our final party to be adults. So I want it to be like Aloise, Catherine, Shamir to a lesser degree, Hanneman... Manuela, Seta, Flane, right? So I want those to be in our group, so that's at least seven of them. I also want um, at least three members of those who, uh, not those who slither, of Cinder Shadows, which would be uh, Yuri, Balthus, and Constance. With that, that's at, we're, we're at 10 from just the ones I've named, by the way. Cause, so I believe that our heart house leaders are sort of Seta and Flane, so that would be my plan is to have those as our group and then we need three max to be on top of that i don't know who would make sense it would probably be someone who seteth has a social link with because he's the ones that we haven't done yet let me see but we're also going to get ones that um we're going to get all the social links for the remaining cinder shadows which happy will also need to be recruited to get her ones with them but i don't think we're going to use happy in our squad that would be my plan, anyway. Uh, oh, Seteth. I just want to see his social links on this page here. Supports. Sorry, I've been playing Persona. They're called supports in this game. I do apologize. It's, they're the same thing in each game, but, you know, it's just what, what you name them. All right, so, obviously, he has one with Byla. That's easy. Bernadetta, already in the party. Felix, we did, I think. Yeah. Ingrid, we did. Hilda. 
So Hilda we'd need to recruit, which we can do on the church route, I think. I believe you can recruit Hilda on the church route, so which we need to look at. Leone, I think we can do what we might have done. Flane, that's easy. Oh, Cyril, we might also include as number 11. We did use Cyril on a golden deer route, but Cyril on an actual route of his own might be cool. But we have Flane, Hanneman, Manuela, Catherine, and Cyril. So, I mean, the only two we'd want to recruit are Hilda and Leone out of that, which isn't too bad. If I check Flane as well while we're here... Flane has Ferdinand and Lintart, who are both already there. Dimitri we've done, Dadu we've done, Felix done, Sylvain done, Claude done, Raphael probably done. Ignatz pro- actually I think we've done all of them for her apart from... Yeah, we must just be missing Ferdinand and Lindhart, maybe, unless we did them in the previous run, but I don't think I did. Yeah, and we might have done... Yeah, I think we did the rest on the Golden Deer run, actually, including Sylvain, because <laughs> I think she was a member of our party, sort of, in that run. Anyway, so that's the ones I'm thinking there, and then we got, like... Yuri and Balthus. So if I go look up Yuri here, I can tell you who else we're likely to recruit. So we've kind of got Hilda and Leone as potentials. Uh, ooh, the thing fell asleep. I do like to let the credits play out, so that's why I'm kind of just talking about things in general. So Bernadette and Dorothea are Yuri's ones from that we haven't got. Uh, Balthus, Constance, and Happy, which we already were going to get, so that's fine. Um, so if I go to Balthus... His are Claude. Ah, not going to be able to get the Claude one, but that's due to him not being in the game at that point. Um, Lysithia, we could get <laughs> again. Um, Hilda, again. So Hilda's there. So Hilda's a definite. Lysithia's a maybe as well. Although I should recruit her anyway so we get the support. Claude, I don't, I don't think you can do supports with people who aren't, like, who are another house's leader, but you might be able to. I don't know whether you can even invite them to eat. You probably can. Anyway, I was just thinking there, I was like, maybe you could invite them to eat, but I don't think you can. No, no, we would have seen it before now, maybe. Anyway, uh, so that was one, and even then you wouldn't be able to get the higher level support, so what's the point? Um, Constance, well we finished Mercedes one of her, didn't we, so... Yeah, she has Edelgard, which we'll at least be able to get the start of before, you know. Oh, she has Ferdinand. Oh, she also has Yuritsa. Ah, well, you know, what can you do about it? Unless we do another play. No, 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 no. And then Happy has no one else. Yeah. Ha Happy's cleared on that one. So obviously these new characters were meant to be played on certain routes, like Constance is quite clearly meant to be played on the Crimson Rose or Crimson Flower route. That's, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. I think that's the route she's obviously meant to be played on. Balthus is obviously meant to be played on a Golden Deer route. Um, Yuri is kind of route agnostic, but is probably meant to be played on a... Uh, like, I think he's meant to be the church route one. Which would make sense. If there's, if there's four of them, there's four routes. Because she, uh, he's got two that are gonna be there from the um, Black Eagles, but on the church route. So that makes sense. So yeah, th that, that's kind of my ideas. Uh, if, I'm just seeing who else we've got actually. If I just jump through a couple here, so I'm jumping to through different articles on this one so that I can then get to like Catherine. Does she have anybody who we make sense for us to have like? Caspar and Lindhart are both going to be there. We've done Ash, we've done Ingrid. Lorenz, we've got another Lysithia. So Lysithia again. You know, any any of those. We've got another Leone as well. So there's a couple in here that are, are repeating, and those are going to be the ones we're really going to focus on. Shamir. Um, there's a bunch with Shamir, but we I think we already did all of them previously on a different playthrough. But we, we could do them again. Um, Cyril? Does he have any ones that we haven't done yet? Petra with Cyril. Um, the rest actually appear to be mostly Golden Deer for Cyril, which is interesting. So we've already done most of them. And then Manuela. 
Um, Manuela has some with Ferdinand. Yeah. Okay. And then Aloise. Ah, that's the other one I want to check. Aloise, because he is... Uh, so he had one with Dimitri, which we've done. But then he has, like, Bernadetta and Petra. Which are cool. And then Leone, once again. So, that's fine. And Hanuman, I think we've already done all of his many times. But let's have a look. Uh, Edelgard and Hubert, I probably already did his for. Lintar, I yeah, I think I already did, like, 90% of his. He has Lysithia, but we've done it before. In fact, I think we've done all of Han Hanuman's in full before. So, I don't know. Maybe we haven't done Seteth and Hanuman. That might be it. Anyway, that's fine. Um, so, that's the plan. So, any suggestions on top of that would be much appreciated, because that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. I'll probably briefly go over the plan at the start of the series as well, for anybody who hasn't watched a 2 hour and 30 minute thing into the credits. <laughs> um, so, my other plan in this is that I need to choose a new class. Now, I want to try multi-weaponing people, like providing people, like, potentially with bows and or magic. Like, say, you have bows or magic plus a melee weapon. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be, but a lot of people have, like, additional skills and things that we never use. So I think it could be neat to try multi-skilling, especially for people who have magic. Like, giving somebody who has magic... Um, a melee weapon that they can actually use would work. Although, of course, their growths will probably not work towards that. But, um, someone like Petra, giving Petra the ability to use a bow and a sword, that's a fantastic combo. It works for Assassin, and we've done that before, but I think like, that's the kind of thing I want to try more of. I also want to try us with something. What we might do, though, is we might just go in sword and magic. That might be ours, as in Sword and Faith. Although, that's kind of... See, uh, the reason why I think Sword and Faith would work really well on this one is because we need to get all the Rhea um, supports. And the way that we get the Rhea supports is we go and do the... Um, we go and do training with Rhea, right? And tea parties and all that, but... Training is a big part of it, so... If we're going to do training with Rhea... Um, well, she teaches... I think she teaches Sword, Faith, and Brawling. So, I think she teaches Brawling. Anyway, Sword, Faith, and Brawling. We've done Brawling, so Sword or Faith has to be part of it. And Sword is kind of your the main character's meant to take. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we could take that would make it cool. We could potentially try... a flying main character. Maybe one of the special classes with flying. Like, the special flying class could be interesting. If we took that and also used swords, that could be intriguing. So that would mean that we would have to level our reason up, which is an impossible. We do get reason spells. That could be a cool idea. That would allow us to have both reason and faith, and then we could... Yeah, allow us to have sword, faith, and reason. We would also have to level our flying, and I don't know who teaches flying, if anyone. Does anyone teach flying? We would probably have to seminar? Ugh, I hate the sound of that. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone teaches flying, and that would probably be the dead end on that one. Seteth might teach flying. Actually, you know what? I did just have a Seteth page up, so let me just have a look. Seteth. Let's have a look. Seteth. What do you teach? Uh in-game. What do you teach? Doesn't show what he teaches, actually, weirdly. Hmm. Oh, the end. Nice. Uh, no, it doesn't show what he teaches on this one, but I think he might teach flying. Yeah, I have a strange feeling that he teaches flying, so... Hmm. Maybe. Maybe that could work. Uh... Doesn't really say. Okay. It's obviously not a problem that many people run into. But, yeah. That's, not, that's an idea. It's just trying to find a new class for us to use. Anyway. I know we're sitting on the end. I think I might continue sitting on it for a little bit, because it's got some quite nice music and won't play the opening cutscene. 
I'm trying to think of anything else. This route, though, this route was fantastic. This is, I said before it started, at least I think we did, I did, or I've said another route. It, this is kind of like the main route of the game, in my opinion. Like, this is the main story of the game. And after having played it, I agree with myself. Like, this very much gives you a background on every single thing in the game. Like, I would say, if you were to start this game from scratch, right? And you were to say, what routes should you play for what things? I would say, if you want a main story, which has, you know, a character arcs for everyone. It's fairly, it's got a serious tone throughout. It's got like lots of twists and turns and it's very much a story based thing. I would say the, the blue lions are your house, right? They are your story. It's got flashbacks to the past. It's got, you know, twists and turns of all the characters coming in like his, it's his stepmother or, you know, it's Lord Arendelle or it's got all of that sort of stuff in it. And it shows you um, the flame emperor talking with everybody with the dagger. So it gives you a hint towards the twist, which I think is an intriguing idea. Although maybe playing another house where you have no clue could also be cool. Well, I mean, it was when I, t I did it, but I think that that could be, um, it could be interesting. So that's what I'd say for the blue lines. I would say that the golden deer are the lore house. They're the one which you play that it will give you the most lore about the background of the game. It'll be like, hey, here's this thing. Here's that thing. Here, here's, you know, the explanation for this. You want, you know what the dragons are? This is what the dragons are. You know what the relics are? This is what the relics are, right? It's got all sorts of stuff like that in there. And the crimson flower root was the, what, I'm going to call that the what if root. I think that that one is the one that feels the most unfinished. And I think the reason it feels unfinished is because it's kind of not the, I would say it's not the, I'm going to put this in quotes, not that you can see it, but like it's not the canon route. It's not the route that was most designed as the main story of the game. I know that obviously any of the three could have been the main story for you, but in the way that I feel it's been designed, that was obviously the route with by far the least, I mean, I haven't played the church route, but with by far the least effort put into the presentation of the route, it seemed like it was very much a, well, what if you play as this house? What if you were on their side, right? It feels like that's kind of the thing. So I'm assuming that like that, that to me feels like a, you play that after you play, you play that second after you play any of the routes, right? So if you play Blue Lions first, you play Crimson Flower second, because it fits the nicest. If you play Golden Deer first, you play Crimson Flower second, because again, it's the one that gives you the other side of this of the argument. I think that works quite well. Um, Church, I haven't played yet though. I don't know, maybe Church is the best route by far. I've heard it's very similar to the Verdant Wind, which is the Golden Deer route, but I don't know, we'll see. What's also going to be interesting is I'm going to pretty much ditch our party for like the um, as soon as possible I'm going to ditch the um, Black Eagles party, which is going to be difficult because Ed Edelgard and Hubert are often uh, mandatory party members. So I guess we're going to have to level them up until the point that they are no longer relevant, which is going to be odd. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to end the series and the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'm going to let this fade out. In case you're wondering what the reward for beating Maddening is. Oh, it's also our final one. Uh, let's save that here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. There we go. We now have three completed. And the reward for Maddening, in case you haven't seen it. The chair is orange. Yep, that's your reward for maddening. The chair is orange. I know, it's crazy. I'm just clicking here. We could do New Game Plus. What does New Game Plus do? Let me just double check. You keep your renown. Uh, yeah, so you keep your renown, hire battalions, as well as your shop and saint level statues. Use your journal to spend renown to unlock professor levels, support levels, skill levels, combat arts, and abilities gained from mastering new skills. 
Um, hmm. Yeah. Additionally, you may receive con items containing crest powers based on the choices you made in your cleared game save. Use your journal to spend renown to unlock any crest items you do not possess. Do you think it's worth doing a new game plus one? I don't know, but if it allows you to s to get your professor level for free, it's definitely tempting because that would mean I don't have to fish. But yeah, it could be intriguing. I don't know. Uh, I definitely have the gazebo. But yes, we're going to do maddening again. And this series is going to start. I'm just thinking about it. Let's look at the when this is going to go out. It's going to go out then. It's going to be a week on Monday. So not the 24th, but the 31st is when I would reckon the first episode will come out. So thank you for watching. I'll hopefully see you all then. Goodbye.